Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. This time we are racing B-Class Japanese cars and I have got a Galant, not just any Galant either. This is a bit of a monster. Uh, <laughs> it has got 366 horsepower, which is quite a lot in B-Class. Now, am I on standard tyres? Yes. Have I got the most power out of every, every car here? Probably. I'm not sure if anything might be running more. Maybe the GTR? Mm, possibly. Uh, now, quite a few cars are on rally tyres. I know they're probably going to do better than me on the dirt. Admittedly, all-wheel drive standard tyres isn't the worst thing in the world. In B-Class, you might just get away with it. Uh, this track in particular is probably not the worst one uh, for me, although I'm going to have to be careful, because as blindingly quick as this Galant is, uh, it's also not going to stop. Uh, compared to a bunch of other cars. Oh, that was a fun place for that ghost mode. Uh, <laughs> I think they might have been expecting it to still be in ghost mode as we got to the corner. And, well, yeah, we weren't. So, while I have got phenomenal levels of power, I simply cannot take the corner speed that some of the other cars can. It's going to be that game of um, acceleration versus grip, uh, really, here. Um... Oh, okay, well I wasn't actually expecting to be able to make that around the outside. I expected to draw me behind, but the skyline was quite slow. So, we did make that work in the end. I mean, the good news for us, in terms of this race so far, is that at least we have one of our cars up at the front. It's like a big old bundle of cars behind I'm just not going to worry about. We're going to focus on trying to chase down Impega, and then if we get past Impega, try and chase down Corrupt at the front of the field. I'm just going to go early on the brakes down here. I mean, we did get stopped, so we were getting slowed down on the first lap. <laughs> it wasn't really my fault that we ended up in strife on that uh, on that first lap. I can't do anything here, we've just got to wait our time. I mean, this is where it's sort of a bit of a weird battle comes in, because it's so critical for these handling cars to carry the speed through the corners. Um, and if I'm in the way, I'm going to be really annoying now to, uh, to Impega, because I simply cannot carry the speed that that thing can. Uh, but that's going to get to the inside. I'm going to have to yield and give it space. Uh, it's not going to matter. We are probably just going to fire past it long before we even get to turn one. Points-wise, this is going terribly for us. We have not got the points that we need at all in this one. We will jump our way past. I mean, 1-2 is nice, but a 1-2 will not uh, get us... <laughs> it's just no steering. <laughs> it's just nothing. In this in this car whatsoever, uh, carefully does it through there, and off goes the skyline once more. It can get alongside. We'll just swap and outrun it up the hill. There we go. I'll take that position back. Thank you very much. Uh, this makes me worried about that Datsun actually. If this is the sort of circuit where I would expect this car to go well at, uh, and if this is the sort of speed the Datsun is capable of doing, that thing is probably going to be pretty damn quick. Ever I say, worry about the Datsun. At the end of the day, it's on my team. Probably shouldn't be worried about the Datsun. Uh, however, in terms of I want to get the Galant to a victory, multiple victories perhaps, um, yeah, the Datsun is oh, looking pretty quick, although... Ugh, I don't know whether it made a mistake down there. Possibly it did. Uh, we got a little carried away under brakes as I'm trying desperately to make up some time here. So yeah, those definitely running on, on rally tyres, them two cars. Um... I guess you could be on... I, I don't know why you'd be on anything other than rally tyres. If you're going to compromise your build handling-wise in B-Class, you go rally tyres. You wouldn't put it on race tyres uh, because you'd just... You'd ruin it too much going on race tyres and be terrible off... Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Maybe there is a way to build a car on race tyres that'd be quick in B-Class, but I, I don't think many would work. Certainly not for what we're doing here, considering the, the split between dirt and tarmac stuff. We are gradually picking up points a little bit here. Uh, we just need a few more. We're actually very close to being able to do it. We only need one more position here. Um, and we would be able to do it. Could I be... If I could get these next couple of corners right, uh, you know, like maybe not brushing the wall and all of that sort of thing, would be really, really helpful here if we could. Um, actually not a terrible line through there. We've got the, we've got the, have the power all the way up the hill. I just don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, the points are still shifting further back. There's such a big fight going on. I'm just desperately trying to chase down a Datsun. Uh, for the victory here. Uh, while there is still change a foot further back, uh, we're going to get close. A couple more laps and maybe we could have done the work to catch up. 
to the back of the Datsun. It's not going to be enough. The Datsun takes victory in race number one. Jeez, that's us three. That's four, actually. We're so quick there. <laughs> I didn't realize how far away from the rest of the field we were. Yeah, me, Corrupt, and Pega and Hoofster were so much faster. So the two Skylines are looking pretty good. The Datsun and my Galant working around that circuit as well. Uh, Blue Team's Galant also not doing too badly. We cannot quite make this one unless... Vi uh, no, that's really close between a whole bunch of them back there. Really, really good battle uh, down the lower order. I mean, again, in that one there, 8th, ninth place could have very easily decided it. All we needed was one more place. That's all, all it took. All it would have taken, one more position, and we could have done it. However, it's not to be. Blue Team take victory in the first race. Let's see what the next one brings. So, <laughs> Ambleside is the next track that we are going to head to. Of course, all-wheel drive is good for the Michael Ant. The lack of suitable tyres is bad. <laughs> I can do something here. Uh, I might not be completely dead last. It might not be as bad as some cars, but it's also, I don't think, going to match the likes of the Datsun, the likes of that Skyline, and possibly anything else. I'm not sure if any of the other small light cars, uh, potentially the Datsun ahead of us, the Z, uh, might be on rally tyres as well. I don't know. It's got the rally, it's got the, the rally paint and the rally lights on it, so you'd hope it would be. Uh, now I have had, what was it, a 205 I had run actually pretty well around some dirt circuits on standard tyres. Um, you know, if you have the power and you have a good enough sort of all-wheel drive, it can kind of work. You know, you can make something happen uh, with the cars, which is good. Uh, can I sneak up the inside? I'm trying to sneak up the inside of the skyline. I think may have ended up friendly firing their teammates a little bit in all of this. Uh, <laughs> it's not quite what you want. Now... I won't be able to take the speed through these corners. That's where we're going to lose out. And, of course, Ambleside is a very twisty circuit. On a faster dirt track, I actually think I could give these cars a real, real bit of trouble. Uh, it's just it's like here, for example, is where we're going to lose out. I can't maintain the speed through the corner uh, like the car ahead. Although I do have the power up the hill, you know, we have that going for us a little bit. So my lap time won't be too terrible. Uh, Impega has come to say hello. I don't think I can fight off that car as much as I desperately want to. Uh, <laughs> the understeery Galad, no, I don't think there is going to be. We can try, and we will hold it back as long as we can, uh, even if it is just let Corrupt build up as big a lead as possible here. That's good teamwork uh, at the end of the day. Make Impega's life difficult. Uh, that is what we are supposed to be doing. Oh, I've got a big twitch going down there. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, Razor Whip, I would presume, is on rally tyres. That wasn't insanely fast in the first race, so I suspect that is why it is performing well. I mean, this is good news for a red team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pegasus just got so much more grip, could just put the nose underneath. I wasn't even, I say wasn't even aware, I didn't even know there's going to be a space there that, that Skyline just has got the grip. I mean, we held it up for a little bit. Uh, we did hold it up for a couple of laps. Uh, we'll see if it can, see if Corrupt is far enough away. Oh, blue team have missed a checkpoint. Stick has missed a checkpoint. Along the, along the way around this circuit. Uh, not going to be able to... Uh, maybe be able to actually sneak past down the start-finish straight here if I can get this right. No, this is the speed through that final corner. If I could take that a little bit faster, we could probably give him real, a real nightmare into turn one, but as it is, I'm not going to be able to like, duck underneath, I don't think. Uh, there's a little bit of a slide from the, from the Nissan there. We run up the hill. Impega hasn't dropped us as quickly as I thought it thought, thought it might run away from us, but it's just quick. It's quick enough that I'm struggling to do anything about it. I know we get on the power here. Well, this is where we make up some time. Is that just all-wheel drive traction? Yeah, I mean the standard tyres in this scenario here isn't really that bad. It wouldn't work at higher classes, I don't think. But when you are that little bit more compromised in B class, you know, building a car, uh, standard tyres aren't terrible on the day. You can certainly make something challenge and give Impega a little bit of a scare. Uh, run towards the first corner. I mean, any mistake from the Skylight, and I will be there to take that position away. I'm um, trying to get close enough to maybe pressure Impega into a mistake or just be able to show the nose somewhere. We both got super close to missing that checkpoint for all of that. Razor Whip has fallen back a little bit behind us, but is still in fourth place. And it does look like this might give us enough points. Jesus, our cars are so much quicker. There's a lot of cars in this field that are not working on the dirt. The fact that we're about to lap half the bloody field. <laughs> I mean, it's not unheard of on these short dirt circuits where you do have some specialist cars. 
uh, for some stuff to not be working and it is safe to say there is some stuff that is not working here. Uh, Egger shot through to get second. We will take a third place in that. It's another podium for the Gallant. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by that as far as you know the the two grippy rally tired cars around the constant dirt, constant cornering circuit. Probably going to be quite good. The Gallant put on a good show. I challenged him Pega for a little while. We just fell back at the end. Uh, it was never never really likely to find a way past. Could, could kind of give a little bit of grief. But we got the points. That's what matters. Red team, take round two. So, up next, we head to the Bambara host circuit. Uh, where are we going to find the Gallant on the grid? Ooh, that's a nice spot. <laughs> that's a good spot on the grid because... Of all the tracks, this should probably be the best circuit for the Gallant, realistically. Uh, the Wind Farm one, I guess the hills uh, kind of kind of work for it. Um, but yeah, this... If a power car works somewhere, Bambara is probably the place where, it, where it's likely to work. So, we know we're a fast car in this one. I would expect it to be difficult to beat, uh, in all honesty. Uh, not impossible, and uh, mistakes mm, can and could, you know, could be made around here. Got to be careful with the understeer in a couple of places. I uh, also got to be very careful with turn one. Turn one is always a sketchy, sketchy corner here. Oh, we can run in very, very deep through there. Now I'm not too fast if the Datsun overtakes us. First of all, because it's a teammate, but second of all, because well, at the end of the day, it can sit there, it can draw alongside. And then we're going to go up a hill, and then we're going to run away. So, <laughs> I mean, this race, if Corrupt can keep up the whole way round, I'll be impressed. Uh, Impega has been buried in the pack a lot more, which is unlucky. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that, I'll, I'll give credit where credit is due. Datsun's got a lot of speed through the corners, and it gets munched on the straights, but it might be enough to actually give me some grief again. Here, here we go. The Galant's 360 odd horsepower is going to propel it into the lead. Now, if we can keep doing that for an entire race, then fantastic. It'll go my way. However, I'm actually a little bit concerned that the Datsun might be good enough that uh, the just sheer brute force. I'd be surprised. Um, I would be surprised, as I said. We normally don't see this as the outcome. Uh, normally this is where the power cars will shine, but we're going to have to get—we have to work for this one. If we are going to beat that Datsun, we are really going to have to work to uh, find a way past. Now, if I could just cause it to have to take slightly funky lines, that's going to help me. So if I can, you know, throw the car up the inside, I'm going to have to be super neat and tidy. Uh, in a weird way, and this becomes a really different battle. It almost becomes like a hot lapping battle. It becomes this odd battle of I have to get every single corner right. I can't make a mistake uh, because I have to be close enough to be able to do this power pass down towards turn one. Uh, now I also am going to have to get pretty good at defending uh, because if we can slow the Datsun down in a couple of corners, uh, that is... I say get pretty good at defending, we're going to have to take tighter lines uh, because if we can just stop the Datsun exploiting its corner speed... Now we are on the same team, I am well aware of this. Um, However, doesn't mean we aren't going to fight for the victory, uh, especially when we are quite a long way ahead of Impega, who may well catch us as we do this uh, a little bit, and then we'll have a three-car battle doing this very same thing. This is what we did on lap number one. We are side by side, running up the hill. Uh, <laughs> now, do I go... Maybe not crazy defensive, but we really do need to make sure life is difficult for the Datsun. That's kind of what we need to do around the final corner. So we keep the Datsun stuck. The Datsun can't exploit its corner grip. We pop out the other side with the lead of the race. That's good. That's what we needed. We're just going to build that gap. So the next, next lap around, the Datsun probably won't catch us through turn one and two. And it'll have to wait a little bit longer before it can maybe uh, be looking for a way past. And that is, in essence, what we have to do in this race. It's a different sort of racing, perhaps. Uh, but this is what happens when you have the power versus handling cars. Especially at a track like this one. Um, oh just got the checkpoint. Don't throw it away by missing a checkpoint. That would be an embarrassing way to go. Uh, I've got to be careful. Oh, 
like that, for example, of if you get if I get too far ahead, you end up not necessarily defending as hard as you should in some corners, and we don't want to be doing that. We are again going to outrun the Datsun up the hill. Uh, <laughs> so we do the same thing lap after lap. We're taking some really shallow lines, but it is absolutely fundamentally important that we do. Uh, the Datsun wants to get up the inside. It gives us a little, a little nudge. Um, I mean, it's fine. We are going to just breeze past it again down towards turn one. Uh, <laughs> we've changed positions. I mean, we've changed a lot of positions in this race, and this is only going to be a five-lap race. There's been a lot of lead changes here. Can we hold on? I've got to cover the inside. Not turn one. Datsun can't do anything. It's too far back. I don't think it's going to be close enough to have a go through here. Also, this is quite a quick corner. Overtaking opportunities are small here. Uh, this time around, we are going to cover the inside. You want to get past there, I'm not going to make it easy. I was aware how close that car was going to be. Now, it's going to try. It wants, you know, be as neat and tidy through here as possible. It's always going to fall back. It cannot dive at the end of this straight. I don't have to defend on the way in uh, this lap around. What I do have to do is make sure we get off the final corner nicely. So get this change of direction right. The Datsun's got nowhere to go. It can't do it. Uh, <laughs> we defended absolutely how we had to around that final corner. What a fantastic race. That was a really, really good race. Uh, we defended yeah, sensibly. Uh, there was a lot of overtaking for the lead. We got it. We got the final lap. We held it together. Victory will go to the Galant. Whew. That was good fun. It might be a team win as well. Um, I don't know what happened to Impega. Impega was up in third place at one point. May have missed a checkpoint. Something along the way there, which would be a shame for that Nissan. That could probably have joined in our epic tussle for, <laughs> for the lead. In the end, it actually doesn't matter what the rest of the points are now. We are going to take victory just by a mere 50 points. <sighs> The Galant got the victory at the track it probably should have done, or the track most likely for it to. Um, again, we had to work for that one, but I'll take it. So, we head back off-road. The Mortimer Gardens Scramble will be the next circuit. Uh, I am starting in the middle of the pack. Now, this track actually probably won't be too terrible uh, for the fact we've got me and the Datsun are going to be... Well, that's going to be the row in front of me. Peg is going to be a little bit further back. Uh, it's going to be an interesting scramble around at the start. Uh, yeah, this this circuit isn't the worst of the dirt tracks, if I'm honest. Um, it's there's some nasty dirt sections, but there's also quite a long straight for a car like the Galant to do well with. And we saw it already behave quite nicely at Ambleside for for what it is. So we might see. Oh, the Galant managing to work. Oh, Corrupt very nearly missed that checkpoint. I saw that. Just turned in. <laughs> turned in way too soon, forgetting how to actually get through the checkpoint flag. That nearly went wrong. And now there is water splash for us to deal with down here. Uh, we're going to just jump over that. Uh, ooh. That's fine. And get the car slowed down. So this is a section where we're going to lose out to the likes of. Oh, the Datsun's gone really wide on its own for all of that. Uh, that's not what the Datsun was going to need. Now, if we win this adventure, we will win outright. Uh, if we can, if we can win here, uh, Red Team will take the victory outright. Well, I've got a really big slide through this section. This is where we are likely to be all vulnerable going onto the dirt. <laughs> There's just nothing I can do. Now, my little sneaky line off the bridge, I would normally take. Although in this car, I'm fighting my car so much, it's not worth it. Like I don't want to. I think that the risk of me losing control and hitting something with the Galant uh, is not worth the potential time gain from that little sneaky line. Uh, Impega is up in third with the Dirt Skyline. Razorwhip's got that uh, Fair Lady Z in fourth again. So the other Dirt cars, the other uh, Rally sh Tire Shod cars, I can't, I think that's the right way of saying it. Uh, they are all, they are all up around the front. Oh, that's not what I needed to do. Okay, this has been a bad lap for me. We get, again, if we're going to do this, we have to get it spot on. We can't afford we can't afford to waste time. We can't afford to slide the car around like we did on that previous lap. Uh, we're going to have to get every every bit of the circuit right. And basically, we've just got to maximise where the Galant is strong. We've got to maximise that straight line speed 
aspect of this track and yeah not lose too much time through here I'm just waiting to get the car turned in waiting to get on the power uh, that will kill the lap time for me I mean that's that's fair enough this car is, is built differently to those that it is racing I'm not sure I've quite got the pace of the Datsun here I think I lose too much uh, it's all going to come down I think a little bit to this corner here if we can get onto here nicer than that maybe we can do something it's tantalizingly close but I don't think it's quite going to be enough I mean again we're going to lose a few tenths probably not that much this lap but it's just it's, it's not we're not gaining and we would definitely need to be gaining if we're going to look for a way past in the closing stages of this one I haven't even had time to look up at the leaderboard and see where we are points wise we are 50 to the good at the moment one position will swing it uh, either way for well either team pretty much uh, we slow down we can through here and try and use that all-wheel drive launch. I would imagine the Datsun's rear-wheel drive. I'm trying to figure out if it is. It doesn't really move around much. Maybe it has been converted. That would explain. I certainly know the Skyline was rear-wheel drive watching that move about. Uh, that's definitely a rear-wheel drive car. Uh, the... Oh. Datsun's a little bit slow going through that water splash. The Datsun's got it a little bit wrong coming onto this back section. Sadly for me, I took out a lamppost and lost all my momentum on that one as well. Uh, so, <laughs> that's not ideal, but we are definitely much closer this lap around. Uh, we understeer a bit through the first part, but we are we are definitely we are definitely close. Hey, well, that Datsun has got some serious speed down that straight. That Datsun is not slow. Uh, <laughs> that's what makes it more difficult uh, for, for me here, is that the Datsun is not quite such a walkover down the straight as, you know, I would ideally be wanting. That's a, like, a lovely line through the corner there. I don't think I can beat that now. That's a fantastic car. I just watch it get turned, and there's like nothing I can nothing I can do with it, uh, unless it gets really bogged down in the water again. I think maybe it hit the landing awkward and just lost all momentum. Uh, it was really it got bogged down again. Uh, oh, it's actually now got caught out by a, uh, oh, a back marker car uh, getting in the way of that one. I actually know if I'm close enough still because I think we're going to lose out to uh, not that I'd want to win from. A teammate getting slowed down by a back marker. I actually think it's going to be too quick through these corners. Uh, even for me, if I do get through here, it is. We were close. We could probably race a few more. With maybe a few more laps. Or maybe it would have pulled away. Difficult to know, really. Uh, <laughs> it was a good race. It does look like we're going to take the adventure as well. We desperately were trying to chase that down. Impe if Impegra could have had a better start, I would be interested to see whether that could have run with us or not. Uh, it was, was hard to tell in, in all of that. Um, well, a couple of our cars very much didn't work. We, you know, first, second, and fourth, uh, very, very helpful points. And the Civic still managing to score enough as well. And we head to our final race, the Edinburgh Station Circuit, where I guess the acceleration of the Galant is going to be good. We are going to be outturned quite drastically. Uh, probably be a similar battle to the one that we've been having in a number of races against the usual suspects in in this particular field um, yeah the Glant has certainly been has been working very very well indeed uh, red team we have taken the adventure here we will get the the overall victory this is blue team now uh, fighting for honor so to speak uh, we can I mean we can launch our car down towards turn one we're gonna get a good uh, we're gonna make, make a good a good few positions. Uh, Impegas Skyline might well be very quick here. Uh, if it is, well, if it is rear-wheel drive compared to what I think may be an all-wheel drive Datsun, um, you know that drive line won't be such a problem here uh, compared to maybe the dirt circuits where it would be fast elsewhere. Uh, the moment the Civic leads, uh, we are going to run up the hill and we're going to get a few cars just on. Again, it's just sheer power of the Galant. I've got to be careful though because I'm going to lose time through these long corners. Now, how much time? I'm not sure. And especially at the moment while everyone's fighting. Oh, that can have a big dive. Well, a lot of cars can have a big dive, but uh, we are going to get to go shooting past a lot of things here. Uh, <laughs> it's just, jeez, the Galant is so fast. We're just mugging everything down towards the final corner. Now, we will have some stuff boxed in at Snidge at the moment. This is all helping in Pega. Uh, if I can get past this stuff quickly, that would be very, very good. Uh, we can get past the Civic. That's what we want. And now we see if we can chase down the Skyline. Uh, I have no doubt that Datsun is not going to take long to... Uh, oh, 
to get back up. Oh, <laughs> Civic really threw it at the corner. Uh, didn't when well, it got stopped, it just loses. It made it through the corner. It did get stopped, but it just lost everything on the uh, exit. Oh god. Um, yeah, we're gonna get in trouble for all of this, so we get dropped down a little bit. This is the downside. So lap time wise, I can probably run quite quickly, even with my lack of handling. However, when you're in the pack and you've got a car that's a handful to drive, uh, you're in. It's difficult. It is. It is difficult. All right, you can go past. I'm just going to cut back on the exit and just say goodbye to all of you uh, when I unleash the fury of the uh, Galen. <laughs> right, now, can I get left alone for the remainder of this race? If I can get third, it'll be an entire adventure of podiums, uh, I believe. So let's try and go for third. I think we may have lost too much time to corrupt. Certainly we lost too much time to Impega. Impega has won this barring a missed checkpoint or controller turn off or something. Barring technical difficulties, uh, Impeg has won this because we got stuck fighting one another viciously for the first few laps. Would love to see the fastest lap time, sadly not something that can be done in, in the team adventures. I don't know why it's a thing, but apparently they don't want to show you the fastest laps at the end of them. Uh, it's now just Gallant versus Gallant for a spot on the podium. I mean, I'm not going to outturn it. All I have to do is be close enough. Probably what I have to do is be close enough here. Maybe a couple of other places where we can use sheer brute force. This might actually make the difference to the adventure points as well. Again, not that it matters per se for the overall, but um, blue team are currently 50 points to the go. I think I scared the crap out of the Galanda head then. <laughs> oh, no, it's gone the other way. As, uh, oh, and we want to make sure we got the checkpoint. Uh, I don't think they're quite right. It's going to be alongside there. Uh, we're going to now work to the outside. We're actually just going to breeze past. It's, again, it's just pure acceleration. Now, I can't turn in too much. I know that's going to have a dive. And I'd, I'd rather give it space and let it have a dive and then worry about crisscrossing it on the exit or just out dragging it to a next corner uh, rather than anything else. We will cover ourselves. Oh, cover through there. We do dink the fence, but we clear the fence out relatively cleanly as we move up into third. Don't hit the wall. I've hit the wall on the exit of this corner a few times with difficult to drive cars. Uh, actually, sometimes with easy to drive cars, just carrying too much speed. Oh, now we're going to have to be, again, a little bit careful. Be aware there's a car at the inside. Don't care too much about it. Um, not the line I wanted, however, when I'm out that way. We can just dive back to the inside and just use the power of the car. And we will get back to a... Ooh, two third place. Overdrove the final corner a smidge there. I mean, this is a difficult circuit. This is a difficult circuit for my car. It's ve the front end is just so uncooperative compared to just about everything else in the pack. But then you put your foot down and it's faster than everything else in the pack. You know, it has circuits that it likes, circuits that it doesn't like. Um, we're going to wander a little bit out towards the wall. The points are very close again. There's 50 points in it. It looks like it might actually go the way of blue team this time out. Um... It's going to be a quite a very after a very exciting adventure. It's going to be quite a lonely end to this race. I guess we were involved in the shenanigans at the start, and just everything got very spread out. And we are going to trundle around in say trundle around in the third place with a very quick car. Uh, I like. I'm pleased with the Galant. It does work. I mean, this thing was actually built for a rally tournament, and it went pretty well in that. And it's gone pretty well here. The standard tyres, power, all-wheel drive option certainly can work. It's a little bit uncooperative in places and doesn't work at every single circuit. However, yeah, I like it. It's going to be victory for Impega. Corrupt gets second. We will round out the podium in this one. However, unless something changes, unless we can get... Unless we can get ninth, actually, that's what we're looking at at the moment. It's the only way we can, only way we can improve on this one. I don't think we're going to score enough points, sadly. Nope, but <laughs> blue team will take the victory in this final round. It'll be 3 2 uh, to a red team overall. Uh, the game forgets how to do a finishing because, for whatever reason, when it finishes an adventure, the team that won the last round of the adventure is the winner overall, despite the fact that blue team weren't. Regardless, uh, <laughs> regardless, it was a good adventure. It was a good adventure, and. I like my Galant. It worked really, really rather well. That, though, is going to be it for this video. 
if you'd like to sign up and take part in the next one, you can via our forums. There's a link in the description. Find the Faris versus the community section, and you can sign up in there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. <laughs>